audio. Here it is. Here I am. Hello. Welcome to stream again. We're gonna be painting the boomerang. I'm excited. How's everybody's day been? Welcome to stream. I already said that. Everyone's doing awesome, awesome Zelda title puns. What do we have? Wind in their waker, breath in their wild, twilighting the princess, and skyward in their swords. I can't think of it other ones. What are other ones that would be funny? Whoops, season in the oracle. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm gonna stop that right now. We're gonna paint this thing. Uh, not much else to say about that. I, cover, I filled in a couple gaps with some wood filler, and then sprayed the whole thing in Plasti Dip, as per usual. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the shape. I do wish it was a little less chunky, because it's it. The actual thing is a little more like a little more thinned, more than it is like a flat end. But I don't care. Who do we have in chat? So we've got Ryan, we've got Josh, we've got Dejota, and we got me. I'm I'm in chat. I'm over there. I'm over here. Okay. Well, no use stalling, so let's just get right to it. I think we're listening to the Paper Mario Sticker Star soundtrack tonight. Because love or hate the game, which many people do, the, the soundtrack is incredible. Very happy, bouncy. Brainchild's here too! Welcome, Brainchild. Oh, welcome, welcome all of you to stream. How is everybody's day so far? Everybody's wonderful Saturday. Play Smash Bros? Fantastic. Who do you main? Who are your mains? What main in they smash? Smash in they mains. No. This is an old brush that was sitting in the bathroom, uh, washed for a while. I had a bunch of brushes actually over there, I think from both painting Deku Leaf and also probably painting Wind Waker itself. Main Marth, I see. I also play Marth sometimes. Fun! Okay, let's get right to it. There isn't much I think I have to do here. Uh, it'll just be yellow. Is this the right shade of yellow? No, this is like very chunky yellow. Not not chunky, but like uh, very dark yellow. I need to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, is white the way to go on that? Probably, just like light amounts. It's a very faint yellow compared to other boomerangs in the series. We will see. Finish your first player playthrough of Ocarina of Time last week. Very confusing. Lack of hints for puzzles made you go crazy. Yeah, it, it can. I, I, I kind of can't really experience that too much anymore because I, I sort of know all the puzzle solutions just in in the back of my head. So not not much of the game confuses me anymore, which is not meant to be a flex. It's just that's just how it is. So, if I were experiencing it for the first time, I'm sure I'd be a lot more confused than I am. That is still fairly fairly faint. Also might need a tinge of green just to take out some of the red. Oh no, never mind. I still had like a gob of yellow to mix it, or a gob of white. <clears throat> need a funny name to give Epona in, in Twilight Princess? Uh, well, have I got the story for you. Back when I was six years old. Actually, I think I might have been even been younger. Maybe, or maybe older, I'm not sure. Uh, my dad was playing the game, and <laughs> my dad has always had a bit of a childish sense of humor, which is fair because all of us did. He named he named Epona uh, Your Balls, which was great, very hilarious. Uh, <laughs> because of course, absolute first time <laughs> that Ilya speaks to Link, she says, "I washed your balls for you," <laughs> which is just great, just absolutely great. Fantastic, thanks, Ilya. <laughs> so if you want, if you want a great name, that's not hard to go wrong with. Or you can make it my balls. Anything relating to anything making it possessive of something else is really funny. It's great. I need a little bit more. Actually, is white the way to go? I need to add a bit of green first. It's not. It's not like lime green, but it's a greener yellow than you'd, you'd think. That might be- that might have been way too much. Well, we'll see, we'll see! That is like an unripened banana. Yeah, that was definitely too good. This is like heavily lime now. Oops. I didn't mean for lime. I wanted yellow. Come on. 
Mix in, please. Oh, banana. Yeah. Lime green banana. I didn't know this until recently, but apparently bananas can make other fruits uh, go bad faster because they produce an excess of an excess in, in like the the chemical that makes them not rot but age. How did I get the Shrek color? Uh, I put in too much green. This is still too much green. I need to like take I need to take a gob of this now and mix it back to the to the base yellow I had. Which I can do. I've got thankfully lots of paint, so I'm not not lacking any paint. So how's everybody's day? How's everybody's week? I still have not started that job I'm supposed to have yet. It's just it's government stuff, so it's a lot of paperwork, so it's taking it's taking its time getting uh getting prepared. I think this is actually the right yellow shade now. It looks a lot like mustard. I just have to lighten it a bit now with some uh, extra white. I didn't turn the music up because it's too quiet in my ears. Again, this this game has fantastic music despite the game being divisive and it's in what people like about it or what they don't. This is a funky Toad Town mix. Okay, that, that should be the right color of yellow. Let's start slapping that on there. Fantastic. Bananification. How are volume levels? Nothing's too loud or too quiet. The levels look fine on my end. But I'm also not the one listening to it. Had to play with a jazz band for- or had to play with a band with jazz festival at college today. Never been so nervous. I'm sure you did just fine. I'm sure you did just fine. Don't ever be nervous about anything ever. Nervous is for the weak. That's- that's not true. Don't ever believe that. Yeah, I guess, yeah, though, the- the- the school year, the academic year is kind of coming to a close here, isn't it? It's like halfway through April. It's April 20th today. It's 420. Weed day. Why did that, why did that happen? What, what decided that 420 is, is like weed? <laughs> weed. Ew. Miss anything? Uh, boomerang. Also a bunch of funny Zelda puns based on titles. But other than that, not much. How was your day? How was your day, Toxic Toad? Welcome to stream. We're just getting started on the on the paint here. It took a little bit of time to mix the um, the right color of yellow for this, because the base yellow I had was a little too little too strong. Bring in the xylophone. Oh, I got yellow paint on myself. Discovered it was back in the 1800s. Weed. Oh, <laughs> goof. You grow up a little bit silly. Yeah, grow up and talk about weed instead. Very important. I'm trying to. I'm, we're trying to figure out the mystery as to why April 20th, 420 is is supposedly not supposedly, but like is kind of like the weed number. Dedicated to a time a group of college friends got together every day to smoke. Fortran became shorthand for weed in general, and then that group gradually sped from there. That is incredible. Imagine being that college group and just coming up with a time of day and suddenly it's now worldwide. That's what you've heard at least. Interesting. Fascinating. Cool. Cool in fact. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the 
The soundtrack is so jazzy, it's so good. It should be easy to carry this thing because I've got the I got the little nubbins on the side that I'll paint last. It looks like a Simpson by the end of the stream. I'm not I'm not say I'm not denying that that might happen. Painting myself green last time was great, and it only hurt a little bit to take it all off. We'll see how much how much I can go here. That being said, if any of the the colors of paint can represent a race by by stereotype, <laughs> I might get in trouble for it because there's no there's no green races of people. Uh, but you could make an argument for the yellow- for yellow. <laughs> it's same with the color black. I'm not- <laughs> as funny as it is, I'm not doing the color black on stream. That- that's not happening. Not on stream, at least. I'm kidding, I'd- I'd never do that. <laughs> Green, you are now racist? That sucks. So what? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna make me green? With your woke propaganda? Your woke green greenism? Good 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 stream, Rylan. Good 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 stream. Ew. Is that a grainy in my stream? Trying to think of like fake fake slurs I can use for green people, but I feel like they might they might be slurs for other actual races instead. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop right there. Ah, <laughs> uh, the stream where I paint a boomerang and get very racist. Piccolo races greens, don't insult them. That's very true. It'll need to be a tad lighter. Assuming it'll be different when it dries. Shut up! I'm kidding. I probably will brighten it. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, that, that might have clipped pretty badly. I don't know if it did or not. Welcome to stream mid-roll. How's your day been? I'm seeing progress. I'm, wa I'm not really commenting much, but I'm watching the progress on your, on your project there in the Discord server. It's looking sick. I do wonder, though, for the sword trails, is it worth it to, um... To have this, the the yeah, the trail actually follow the sword, or should it be like a particle effect that just gradually mimics the shape, so it's less like wobbly, janky with the animation as it goes through? I don't. I, maybe you tried that and it didn't work, but I I thought maybe it'd be worth a shot to mention. Because I would a, a fancy um, particle effect can sometimes hide. Not, not that your animation is bad, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but just, it might... I, I tend to hide a lot of lack of polish in my own stuff. And I wonder if it'd be worth it to learn, or to, to try. Not that you don't want to improve and, and get things polished for real, but... <clears throat> Wobbly jank, but a lot easier and adjustable, so you're sticking with it for now. There you go! Again, this is, this whole project, that whole project is definitely in the whole... Definitely all still in the... We're seeing what works phase of planning. But yes, as you said, this is this is a little uh a little dim. Or not a little dim, but a little a little dark. For the color, so I might lighten it up a little a little bit. I already did lighten it up a significant amount from what color yellow I had before. I almost accidentally made it lime green, and that's no good. <laughs> I've got so much yellow paint on me already. I will look like a Simpson by the end of this. I will be Homer. I will be Maggie. I used, I used this song in an old school project and I was just thinking back to it again. It was a goofy video. Very goofy. But it was fun. It was more fun. It was more fun than it was informative, which is what I'm always about. <laughs> These videos are not super informative on how I 
how I, um, how I actually build the thing. It's kind of just, like, things that happen while I'm building it. And maybe a general plan. Custom meshes look nicer, but it would have to make one for each animation. Very true. Camera is further away in games with more hidden. That's right, I forgot that... Yeah. That makes sense. I think this song may loop a couple times, because it has a couple different openings. But I'm not sure if they actually did it or not. smaller brush for this middle section here. Just get the brush all into the cracks. I still love how the shape of this thing turned out. Very solid. Generally pretty faithful. I did actually realize that I missed dremeling one of these, like, one of the smooth parts down, because these, uh, these round... Let me see if I can line this up in the camera. Is this even, like, lined up properly? Where am I even doing the work? I'm doing the work over here, so let's see if I can actually just... There we go. I can, uh, show off these. These actually go down, they like, I smooth them down, but I missed this one, so it's kind of just like, gently rounded down at the bottom, which is no good. But it's too late to dremel it again, so, too late, too bad, so sad, I'll put that one on the bottom. I gotta use songs from this soundtrack in my videos. This one's great. This would be a really good, really good fitting background music for the stream, or for the uh, for the video. Generally safe and harmless to the ears. This will work as a solid starting coat. I can gradually lighten it over time with different colors. I don't think I'm going to uh, gloss this a ton. I lost my train of thought as to what I was going to say. But I might put a little bit of gloss on the, um, or varnish on the metal bits, especially the gems in the middle of these things. But I'm not going to gloss this, because it's supposed to be made of wood, generally, so... There's not too much shine on that. And I don't think I can really etch in many details now that I have the Plasti Dip on there. <clears throat> Twirly. Okay. That can work. Now let's throw some, uh, let's throw some metal on this thing. Metallic, silver, argent. Or are those the same? Are those the same words? Yeah, I think this is like the. <laughs> I think this is that's the French word of it. We do things in French in Canada rather than Spanish. That might be too dark of a metal. We're gonna lighten it up with uh, that's varnish with white. I don't. I don't want to mix these two up because that cause problems. Slimy. Mix it up. Oh, there we go. That's the silver tone we're looking for, I think. It might actually look a little worse when it's dry, because it'll be brighter. But it's a start. So let's get right on it, then. 
Do each of the nubbins, I suppose, to start. Oh. I thought I might have left a little fingerprint there, but I didn't. This could actually probably be significantly darker. I'll do, like, shading passes on this, too. I kind of tend to bake in shading with my painting. Just because that's kind of... That's how you kind of stylize cartoon objects. These are not meant to look realistic. They're meant to look like the... Like, if the ones came out of the game, if I can... If I can pull that off. Oh, it's Christmas. Christmas Toad Town. It's not, it's just the snow level. They don't do Christmas in Mario games. Mario has never once celebrated Christmas in his life. And we pity him for it. Am I hiding my fingerprints? Calling them one? I'm allowed to hide my fingerprints. They're mine, after all. I can do whatever I want with them. There's no laws against the fingerprints, Batman. I can do whatever I want with them. No, Joker. They're fingerprints, you can't. Did I coat that properly? We're gonna find out. This is a beautiful cover. The piano is really nice. Oh, I'm flicking gray paint at myself. Sorry, Dr. Pepper Shirt, you're getting gray. I'm grabbing yellow and smoothing it over by accident. brush is like catapulting gray paint everywhere. I gotta, I gotta be a little more gentle. Game theory, is Mario an atheist? No. There's pictures of him praying. So clearly not. He believes there's something out there. He says, Mamma Mia. The mama being referenced to the Saint Mother Mary. So, no, Mario's not an atheist. He just doesn't enjoy celebrating Christmas. At least not in the ways we think. Maybe he has his own things he does during Christmas. Maybe he eats a special kind of mushroom, shaped like a Christmas tree. Maybe he does that. Who are you to judge? Let a man celebrate Christmas the way he wants. With a Christmas-shaped mushroom and a beautiful song in his heart, he go, Wahoo! He gets a little tipsy on Christmas Eve. He does. He has a mushroom in the shape of a beer can. It's just a regular mushroom, but he has he's a little silly like that. Midwaker. Midrule. Also die. Just a little silly. Wind Waker is fantastic. That's that's a lie. <laughs> it's not a lie. I love Wind Waker for a lot of things. I'm not going to say the game's perfect, though. Most Zelda games aren't perfect when you play them as adults. Like, wait a sec, this is not fun. I gotta sail around and go pay over like 3,000 rupees for for Triforce chart translations. Thanks, Tingle. What if in one of these games, Tingle just eventually became a, uh, became a fairy, just, and said, like, finally, after all this time, it worked. Unpopular opinion, Ocarina of Time is pretty overrated. It's good, but so overrated. That's true, often a lot of websites will, like, cite it as the number one game, but it's also a really good game. It's... I don't think it's the greatest game ever made anymore. I think at the time it was definitely revolutionary in all the, all of the ways it was done. Did I do that wrongly? I did. Did I? I did. This this middle part's not supposed to be yellow. It's supposed to kind of bind at the bottom. Well, I'll wait for it to dry and I'll paint it over with silver. These silver coats are not really very apparent. Maybe I need to go darker. Unpopular opinion, Luigi is just a bit silly. He's a lot silly. He's a lot silly. 
That's Luigi getting mad. So I am very silly, and he stabs you in the throat with his big mushroom-shaped knife. No escaping that one. Silver. Yeah, I gotta go darker on the silver. Only problem is the N64 perfection at Tuesday, the version is better. <laughs> Can you actually soft lock in the water temple? I didn't know you could do that. I do think the 3DS version is a lot better though. It's it's just the better version of the game. It's beautiful. But there are things that could be tweaked about it. For instance, o Hyrule Field in Ocarina of Time is empty. And that's actually not untrue for most Zelda series games. The overworld can be pretty empty sometimes. Like Wind Waker's ocean is very empty. Termina Field is pretty empty overall, aside from maybe a couple chests. Twilight Princess's field is also very empty. Even Breath of the Wild's field is very empty, just on a much bigger scale. Got to paint precisely here. Let's not go over the yellow if I can. Is this Bowser Jr.'s theme in this? I can't remember anymore. This should be a bit of a rough painting job here. And that's okay with me. There's gonna be a couple silent breaks. <clears throat> Terminal is also easier to get through because you can Goron roll through half the game. If not more than half the game at that point, so it's not too not too bad to navigate. It's kinda like more of a, like a fun open obstacle course for you to dash through. So that helps things a lot. Helps it feel less uh less less empty when you're really just kinda like it's kinda like a open field to roll in. Kinda like think Sonic Sonic Frontiers. That that overworld's pretty empty, but that's also because you're Sonic and can dash around at light speed. I don't know if light speed is actually how fast you can go, but you can you can go fast, so it, open places complement that. Whereas Ocarina of Time, majority of the time you're just kind of running through it. Maybe getting a horse if you put an extra time, but like, what's the point? By the time you've unlocked the horse, you can already have beaten the game. I didn't even mind the water temple too much. That's That being said, again, going back to like, I know the solution to most of the puzzles in the back of my head. It's kind of the same way with the water temple. Like, I know I know specifically things I used to miss as a kid and now have locked into not missing them anymore. Like the, the, um, the area underneath the floating platform in the middle central room there, the central tower room. I've, I will no longer miss that because I know to look for it. Master Quest Water Temple is actually pretty good. Puzzles aren't annoying, still difficult and fun. Cool! I haven't played the Master Quest version of that in a long time. I'll have to try it again here in the in a little bit. What if Overworld was like a cramped office? That'd be really cool. <laughs> That'd be really good. I think that think that'd really improve the game. If you get a horse in there, it just, just starts kicking everything. That is almost dry enough to paint silver over. D 
This is the song that plays when you get pulled out of space-time. And you can grab Luigi. Water Temple is just slow and even worse in N64 because of the soft lock. And switching between menus to change boots. Yes, the, the, the slow boot thing was a huge pain in the N64 version. I didn't know you could soft lock in it. I've never been able to soft lock in it before. Maybe you're just stupid. I'm kidding. I probably I, there probably is a soft lock that I just haven't thought about. Skill issue. Fallen hero timeline bozo. I was gonna say a joke, but I almost threw up in my mouth, so I'm gonna just not say the joke anymore. <laughs> I'm good. I did drink a lot of water before stream, and I think that might be <laughs> coming back to hurt, hurt me. How dare you. Body, I'm trying to hydrate you. You can't hurt me because of it. What a strange song. Body was so disgusted at the bad joke that it stopped me. Yeah, it's, it's like, nope, you don't get to say that. Here's water. <laughs> Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll stop that right there. Did Water Temple on GameCube version. Don't suck. At least not that bad. That's fair. Very fair. I don't think I ever played the GameCube version of the game. I, I had um, I had an N64, and that's the one I played it on. I had the original 1.0 version, which had like the, the Muslim star and moon signs for Gerudo people and the Islamic chanting in the Fire Temple. Both of which are still so cool. I'm sad they got taken out. I understand why from like a business perspective, but like as a design place, those were both sick things. The instrument sample is so cool. The, um, the, the chanting sample. Never said you don't suck at games. Me too, don't worry. Ugh. You suck at Zelda? Don't we all? Is that a good gray color? I think that's that looks good for gray. It needs to be a little darker, I think. But it's coming along, and it'll need like some baked in shading still. But it works as a start. Gotta be careful not to do the focused, angry face, because I, I tend to do that when I'm locked in on something. It's great. Not a real Zelda fan, never played Tingle's Rupee Land. I've wanted to! That's not true. I should play it though at some point. Play it on stream. My, brush, my brushing is not precise. That's okay. Nothing I do is precise. I'm not a precise person. Nintendo Switch Online. 
Yeah, Nintendo Switch Online's game library is kind of awful. I've never paid for it. And I, I don't think I ever will. It doesn't seem justified. But then they, they get kind of scummy because then they take they they close down not they not that like closing down the Wii. The Wii and 3DS shops had to close at some point, but then the only time they offer some of the games are on their like limited service. And then they shut down all these all these ROM sites, which I get, but at the same time, if you're not selling a game, I don't think it's I don't think it's your right to deny it people from providing it elsewhere, in other ways, right? Like my entire philosophy on on piracy with with Nintendo games, at least, has been the moment their service goes down, the moment they stop selling it in both in stores or on the eShop, it's free game. Like you could sell the HD version of Twilight Princess on Switch, but if I don't want the HD version and want to play the original, I think I'm free to download a ROM. If you want to provide the ROM with through like a very horrible emulation service that doesn't work properly half the time, or at least didn't, they might have fixed it a lot, but if they're not going to, then I'd still think it's free game. Because even though they're providing the ROM, they're not providing it in the way that I want. You know? Mainly have Nintendo Switch Online for Smash Bros. Not so much for emulators. That's fair. I I didn't play um, I didn't play Smash Online very often, so I I never really had a reason for it. I used the demo. I had the the year long demo, or whatever it was. Maybe it was like three months. I, I used my demo of a Nintendo Switch Online, and then I didn't anymore. Ooh. My hands are silver. Silver and yellow are my colors. I will be Cyborg Simpson. <laughs> so obviously fake. Add tile filter to Link's Awakening. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about texturing. Tile filtering. They filtered his tiles out. <laughs> Money. Exactly. How dare a company want to profit after, like, what, 35 years of, like, games? And like a hundred years of toys. How dare they want to profit for that? I don't think a company should be vilified for wanting profit any more than I should be vilified for wanting to play a game that I bought 20 years ago. See the individual pixels, but it's obvious just a filter they added. Oh, I see what you mean. She links on my awakening till I passed. Hmm. Doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> she sees it on my oracle till I age. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. And no, no, ending stream. It's over. There's profit and there's greed. Yep. But. I don't know. It's over. Oh, like the old CRT filter, whatever it is, like on in the Nintendo Switch Online's stuff. Yeah, they have filters for that that you can turn on and off. It's best to just go with the upscale version of it.
How is that taking so long to dry? Oh, that's why. Because it's like still covered in gobs of this stuff. And that's no good. I don't want gobby paint. Oracle of Ages or Oracle of Seasons? I haven't played either. <laughs> That's not true. I played through about half of Oracle of Seasons. I still need to play fully through both of them. I, I haven't, but I haven't fully played through either of them yet, and I feel bad about that. I just, every time I've wanted to play them, it just, it never worked. Like, I don't know if it was just a time where, like, I was sick of Zelda or something, but I just, I would, like, get halfway into it, and I'm like, this sucks, and I'm turning it off, and <laughs> I just haven't gotten back into it since then. And that's on me. That's fully on me. I don't think the games are bad. I need to actually, like, sit down and play through them again. Oh, asking which one you should play? I got farther into Seasons, so I'd say that one, but I also don't know if Aegis is better. They're pretty much, like, same in quality, it's just more so story or items you get to use. Right? I wouldn't know. I'm the wrong person to ask about that. Which is great. I got a lot of gray on the yellow here, and that's no good. It's very dark. You can still barely see what I'm drawing, what I'm painting here. There we go. That's a little better, even though I'm losing some light. Light in the background. I gotta figure out better lighting, because like this, this works as a um, if I'm laying it down. But the moment I bring it up to paint it, it goes super dark. Which might also be that this webcam is not great, despite being 60 FPS. It's not actually that solid for colors. What am I hearing exactly? It sounds like Mario falling down a flight of stairs. Is that actually what's happening? That might actually be what it is. <laughs> oh, it's Toad falling down the stairs. My bad. Play seasons first, then ages. There you go. And it goes Sness Nesso. There you go. She Sness on my Nesso till I switch. These are so these are such stupid jokes. Let's stop making them now. Even though I'm the one who made it. Actually, it was Ryan's fault. He sent the first message. Who up wind in their waker at the moment, or wind in their waker? He said wind wanker, and I have to ban him for that now. I don't actually know if he banned himself or not. If he did, that'd be really funny. <laughs> I don't think he did. I don't know. I must know. I must know. I don't care, actually. Never mind. Okay, 40 minutes into music and stream. Good. We've got about two hours left of, of music. She's Super Mario's on your 64 till you DS. Super Mario 64 DS was great. If they switched, if they just made a patch to add analog movement, it'd be, it'd be, it would be, it would beat N64. If you're not a speedrunner. Oh, but it desaturated some colors. Too bad. Added Wrecking Crew 98 on SNES. Didn't know it had a remake of the first game. Cool. I don't know enough about any of these things. She's spiriting my tracks till I try force. There's no try force in spirit tracks. She forcing on my gem till I rail. Obviously. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid, stupid joke. I keep missing all these spots. Who up liking and subscribing this live stream? It's there, it's just in a very specific place. It is in the stained glass portrait of Tetra, I think. Right? 
It's on the shield. And it's on... Something else, probably. Do they mention the Triforce at all? I don't think they do, do they? Like, it's mainly Tears of Light. It's more like Light than it is Triforce as a, as a concept of, like, the good power versus the evil Maladus power. I don't know. Who up liking and subscribing to the live stream? I don't know, Ryan. These guys, obviously. How's your day, Ryan? Thanks for dropping by stream. I need to know how good your day was. We didn't play the forest today like we thought, which is fine by me because I had stream to prepare for and food to eat. I made cookies last week, maybe even earlier than last week. Uh, but I had the last one today. And of course, the absolute last bite was the crunchiest burnt thing ever, and it was gross. It was absolute sad. <clears throat> Ryland is like Ryan, but with the L. I don't L. I D. I D. Evil, evil cookie burn. Evil. Ride and me. Oh. Break my chair. I'm also like gradually sinking throughout the live stream. I'm getting smaller and smaller. Help! Help! Oh. Let's just quickly fix that. I'm not a tiny boy. I am a mighty high five foot seven. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Five foot eight on a good day. But I'm like a I'm like a sunflower. Not tall. That's not true. Sunflowers are very tall. I'm not. I'm not like a sunflower then. I'm like a regular flower. Sometimes I bloom, sometimes I shrink. But no matter what, I always smell nice. Unless I'm a gross flower, which sm doesn't smell good. Shout out to my dad. Took them took them chicken wings back to his place. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. Stole the chicken wings that belonged to him. I was gonna eat them that night. Absolutely tragic. Really burnt food tastes the best? You are so far behind, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's funny, though. If you play the live stream back at two times speed, you can catch yourself up. It's magic. This is too bright still. I don't know what's what what is with this paint. This like silver paint specifically, but like it's catapulting itself off the brush after I like brush something with it. Just flings it away. Like a trebuchet. Does it mean you can see the future with two times speed? Yes. Yeah. I love that they bring back all these little jingles from other Mario games. Like this is when you're falling out of the ship in Mario but Mario Bros. 3. After after killing the Koopa Kid, dun, 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 dun. just slow it typing. Well, that sucks. Maybe if you go on all the right type for Windows PC, it'll get you back up to speed. That's what I used in grade grade one, I think, if I remember right. It's bad. Don't use it. It tries to teach you to use home row keys, and home row keys are really bad. 
If you know how to use homeroom keys and can type really fast with them, that's great, but normal people can't because homeroom keys suck. If, I, if I'm not good at it, it sucks anyways. Have to check my mailbox at some point. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, friend. I didn't check it for a month last time, and it was stacked full of newspapers. Oopsies. Last time I checked the mailbox, which was like a week ago, I got like a card in the mail that said, "Hey, sorry for sorry for losing your cat, who I put down two months prior." <laughs> That's how long I had gone without checking the mail. Whoopsies. Oh, I'm missing parts here. In exactly 34 minutes, the Majora's Mask will try to kill me and fight me for the boomerang. Uh oh. Which one? I got two here. The one with its eyes glowing or the one behind my head? I don't know which one's worse. Like, the one behind me would be worse, because I I made it. It'd be like my son killing me. Take shape, my son. Kill my head. Both. They're gonna team on me. That one will be a really good edit. Maybe a lot of blood will be a part of it. Nope. No blood at all. Instead, pee. them with deco leaf there you go they're air-based creatures easy to easy to send away stop with that face this is the only face i have ryan unless you want me to do this gone that'll be a funny edit this song's so good Lots of blood, maybe? <laughs> no. You have no idea what's cooking in here. And neither do I. There's nothing in here. No thoughts. Only boomerang. Spinning and spinning, spinning to victory. Oh, I love this bit. This song's so good. <laughs> exactly. That that actually is how it goes sometimes, Jota, with uh with my editing stuff. I'll like be editing it and then I'll say something in the stream like, watch me disappear in six seconds and I morph into a ball, and I'm like, oh, why did I say that? <laughs> what now I have to do it. Now I have to do it. Have fun with these 30 minutes of my life. I will finish the boomerang in 30 minutes and then I'll be di I'll be able to die happy. This is the one thing between me and a happy death. One boomerang. One day, I'll look back on all these streams and think, why did I spend so much time doing this? I'm having fun now, but when I look back on it, will I be able to recall it so fondly? There's no telling. Streaming Relin and Editor Relin like Jekyll and Hyde? Absolutely. One of them is insane and the other one is me. I'm rolling away. I'm rolling away. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm stuck. Streaming Reland is the Joker. Editing Reland is Batman. Yes, that's very true. One is very goofy, the other one stays up all night. All night. Several times, for no reason. Beat up the Majora's Mask with Boomerang? You're so right. What if I just chuck this behind me one day with no no concern for what my set what, what happened to my set? I might. 
I'm weighing the consequences of what could possibly happen. Doesn't look good. I might break one of my things. And it's not worth it. Just saw 57 years into the future with YouTube at two times speed. Also made many projects, the world has been twice as heavy, exploded, everyone died. I compressed the world with EVA foam props? Yes! That's the goal, baby. That's the goal. Implode the earth with the weight of my projects and not the weight of my body like it's currently doing. Yeah. Good stream. I just painted this, I shouldn't grab it there. Hardcore painting. That's a mess, I didn't do that right. Oh well. That was a mistake. I'm gonna wipe this off before I accidentally swallow it, because that will be poisoned. There's still some left. Yeah, I suppose this is this is probably quite the image to 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 have, isn't it? Let's not let's not angle the boomerang like that anymore, shall we? Future Island is seeing a meat poison. Didn't swallow it. Just went in for a little taste test. How you doing, Isaac? Welcome to stream. They're horrible. All I do is eat paint and laugh. And stare at the camera like this sometimes. And that that's that's my stream. <laughs> Welcome. How are you all doing? Thanks for dropping by. Gotta commit to the bit so not so much that I die. You're so right. I kissed Metal Mario, and he kissed back. He bit my lips right through. It's like a metal piercing, except I couldn't choose not to have it happen. Painful. His teeth are all like, you know those like, that one me that one kid in your class who had all those like metal teeth? It's like his teeth are all those. I really gotta stop like just resting on this frame because this looks like, out of context, this just looks bad. Kinda kinky? Shut up. Die. Die. <laughs> Back to it. More painting it the crazy the stream gets. Uh-oh. We're in for a crazy time then, aren't we? <laughs> Yum. I should have actually like put some silver paint on my mouth for that, but I didn't. I don't have the guts for it. Literally. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> I need some water after all this really funny bits I'm doing. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> The water bottle was a little, too, a little too tall for my face. Oh, I got yellow paint on this nubbin. Get off there, you. Oh, I'm wrecking it. I'm wrecking it. Ryland, you're an idiot and a failure. You should probably end stream. Also, maybe your life? Shh. Shh. I guess while that, uh, while that, while the silver part's dry, I can redo some of the yellow that I messed up.
Some of these will take some heavier coats. Toad Town. More like Toad Frown. <sighs> he would. Game over. Game over! I have a lot of paint. <laughs> and you don't. I lost my train of thought halfway through that thought, and so I decided to just go with what I had said so far. Phone. Ryan? Are you streaming while I... Are you streaming while I stream? It's... I... I'm watching an ad for you, I hope you know that. It's for Axe Body Spray. I can't skip it. Betrayal. I know, right? Only one of us is allowed to stream at one time. He's been streaming for five minutes already, apparently. Well, good for him. I'm really, really happy that he gets to stream. Me too. Betrayal. I know. He's no longer a part of Weenus. It's my call as Weenus director to, 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 to say that. To decide that. My name is Ryland. Just in case I forget. Have to remember sometimes. Ooh. The beach. Is this like an oasis level or something? Oh, it is 420 after all. How are you celebrating this fantastic 420, Isaac? I know you're a huge, uh, huge fan of weed and weed products. You and I did smoke lots in the ice cream truck. To hide, the, to hide the, the, the smell, we would blow it back into the freezer, onto the ice cream. We didn't do that. Nobody worry. We did not give weed-infused ice cream to children. Maybe we did. <laughs> we didn't. One of these days, one of my, one of my things... One of my one of my bits of saying stuff like that is gonna come back and bite me so hard. I'm gonna go to court. Some moose jaw child to be like, I didn't have weed, it was in the ice cream! And they're gonna blame they're gonna find my video and they're gonna blame me. They're gonna say, I'm the one who put it there, and I didn't. I didn't. Pistachios count as the za no. No, pistachios do not count. Do we have a pistachio flavored ice cream? I don't think we did. I think it exists, but I don't think we I don't think we had it. government is watching me stream is gonna fire me from my new job really really I'm sorry government I didn't mean to I didn't mean to say that I put weed in the ice cream for kids sorry Has the silver dried yet? This is kind of working. And in the right lighting, that's that's really good. In the wrong lighting, though, not so much. Let's put some more silver on here. I 
think I'm doing the right thing here. But I might not be. I don't actually know how the metal binds around this thing. Oh, I'm doing the right thing. I got the right idea here. The kids liked it though? That's true. So obviously it's, it's cool. It's totally fine then. This paintbrush is delicious. Mmm. That was a bad idea. Now I got probably like red bits in my mouth. Boomerang. I swear. <laughs> one of the one of these like one of these moments here. I'm gonna I'm gonna get like my stream taken down because this just looks like just slightly too phallic, and it's like dangling in front of my face. It's it's no good, <laughs> no good. I'm gonna get in trouble. Like obviously, Mr. YouTube, have you never seen a boomerang before? Never seen boomerang painting stream before? I don't think I'm the first one to do that. Actually, I might be. If anyone else can find a boomerang painting stream on YouTube, that'd be great. I have to know I'm not the first. Who up painting the boomerangs? Oh, there's like yellow mixed into this. That's no good. New brush. Oh, there's a hair. Ew! Get out of here. Get out of here, hair. Get out of It's not getting out of here. I'm peeling off everything but the hair. Stop it. Make this boomerang bald. Where'd the hair go? There it is. Get off my thing. There we go. Thank you. I don't know how to make metal look like it's brushed metal or make paint look like it's brushed metal. And I never will learn. Deal with it. If it makes you upset, good. That was the intention the whole time, was to make you uncomfortable. I hope you know that. I'm also throwing up water in my mouth. But like in a cool way. It's like a refreshing, <laughs> I get to drink it again. It's, it's a second refreshing treat. I'm so sorry I said that out loud, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's worse, that's like worse than anything about the <laughs> ice cream weed. That's so gross. Ugh. <laughs> I'm grossing myself out. Sorry. Sorry. None of this is going in the video. I missed a spot, again. I tend to do that a lot. Is that working? I think it's working. It's kind of hard to tell. Like it, it looks like it's just white under this lighting. If I bring it up forward here, yeah, it looks better. This this bottom part needs to be filled in because that's supposed to be all silver, but it has like yellow fading through it still, and that's no good. That's no good. I don't think I'm quite as happy with this shape as I am with the um. The Deku Leaf, but I still think it looks great. I still think it looks fine. The Deku Leaf and Pict Pictobox especially is really hard to beat. I love how the Pictobox turned out. Deku Leaf is a second second close favorite. Wind Waker and Shield are, are both both great, but not up to the level of the uh, Pictobox and Deku Leaf. This song's great. I wish birds were real. Alas, they all vanished one day. Tragically. Tragically.
What's everyone doing tomorrow? I'll have, I, like I the answers will not influence what I'm doing tomorrow. I just I'm curious. I need to make me need to make stream conversation. Tomorrow's Sunday. Most people taking the weekend off. Relaxing, chillaxing, all cool. I have to know. I might do a, a Majora's Mask randomizer at some point. Maybe. So far I've done a bunch of Ocarina of Time ones and a single Wind Waker randomizer. Ooh, that looks cool when it's dried. Doo -doo -doo. Let's give myself a nice line across my forehead, just, just so I can pass the time. What number should I paint on my on my forehead? I need to know. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Seven. Be this way. Oh. Seven. Seven. That's a good seven. Good job, Ryland. Too late. Seven it was. Although I could put the other ones now, too. Let's do 420 next. How am I- I'm trying to, like, orient this, because I have to write it backwards while also writing it towards my head here. So I think it'd be... Four, yeah. Four. Oh, that's my hair. Twenty. Those sure are numbers. Looks like the boomerang one because I'm number one. Let's do that in another color. But not a smaller brush. One. Oh, <laughs> great. It's very refreshing. It, it's genuinely <laughs> very refreshing paint. Oh, there's like eyebrow hair in this now. Get out of here, eyebrow hair. It is not covering it. What a silly boy I am. I want them gone. I'm gonna get paint in my eyes and I'm gonna have to end stream without being able to see. Almost gone. It's cold, why is it cold? Boomerang. When it dries, my eyebrows are just going. Yeah, I peel it all off at once. I don't think I went into my eyebrows last time. This will be a cha this will be a change and a challenge. Let's see here. Oh, oh, it's dripping. Uh. Nice. That's still on my eyebrow or on my eyelid. Get off of there. Thanks. Wonderful. Oh, it's dripping again. Wonderful. This is what I wanted to do, I think. Do my beard too? I'll do a soul patch, because I don't actually have one. Silver soul patch. Joy. That's perfect. Oh no, Ryland. What's wrong, Dad? I am normal. I'm fine. I'm fine. Wink. <laughs> I have jaundice. No, I'm just Simpson character. Obviously, I'm Maggie cosplay. This is what I wanted to do. I can feel my eye my eyelids hardening as it dries. 
That's good. That's what I wanted. What am I doing again? Oh yeah, a boomerang. A lot of the silver paint keeps... Ooh. Calling Dr. Nick right away. Okay. Thanks. I'm sure Dr. Nick will give me great medical advice. Okay, I think I can put more silver paint on this thing now. I think it's dried enough. <sighs> Boomerang looks great though, thank you. I like how it's turning out. I gotta finish coloring the silver on it a bit. And I think do a lighter yellow. In some places at least. Maybe do like some baked in shading. Then I gotta do the red gem in the middle. I can't really see my eyebrows right now, but I know the shape of them is still there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do the wave. That's getting yellow paint on my eyelashes. I, I, I Everything's tinted yellow now because my eyelashes are slightly dyed. Ugh. That's just disgusting. Looks better than my other old boomerang. Yes, my other boomerangs. I remember those, my old little cardboard ones that I couldn't find. I found a little tiny one and I threw it on the roof by accident. And then also, I couldn't find the old cardboard ones of these that I made before. Which is very sad. But, the other ones, the, the older ones, were actually semi-functional. In the right wind, in the right conditions, in the right everything. More silver paint is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. That's not, that's not how that goes, I forget. Fast Play will begin automatically. To skip, to bypass Fast Play, press the main menu button at any time. I can't say that as fast as he does, probably because it was sped up artificially. You saw the one on the roof? Nice. Yeah, I threw it there during our barbecue last Sunday. Again, this game's soundtrack is awesome. This is just like a quiet place. Or like a quiet, spooky place. You're like outside of a haunted mansion, I think. In the snow. Oh, that could be touched up there. That is missing paint. That is missing paint very badly. This sounds like Granny, the mobile horror game. Okay. <laughs> I run out of conversation. Now I'm just focused on getting the boomerang done and also feeling my, my face gradually harden with this paint. I got a lot of paint on, so it's gonna take a while to dry. I think the silver soul patch really is a good idea. It looks great. Hmm. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> I'm lying. I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving my life. Life's great. I make boomerangs and paint my face and work at military base. Not yet. Getting there, though.
How am I gonna do the gem? I'm gonna paint it red and then varnish the hell out of it. I'm gonna make it sparkle and shine. In fact, I could probably actually do that now because that's that's pretty dry. Start with some of this solid red. I'll have to bake in a lot of lighting for this thing. Why do I keep getting silver on it? it couldn't possibly have anything to do with it, the fact that my face and hands are a mess and also getting silver on them that way. There. Okay. Let's do some red gem. What is the next project? The next project after this one is gonna be the hero's bow. I'll make a bow and an arrow to go with it. And after that is the skull hammer. And I'm really I'm really excited to make the skull hammer. And then after skull hammer is mirror shield. After mirror shield is hookshot. And I think after hookshot, I'm debating between making the full master sword or a little mini replica of the boat. I'm still deciding that. I'm think I'm leaning more towards the boat, but I'm not sure yet. We will see. And then I'll then I'll call the season a wrap. Call it a wrap on the season. And I don't know when I don't know when season three will come out. I don't have an answer for that. Maybe it'll be later this year. Maybe it'll be next year. It'll depend on how busy work gets by the time I reach the end of the season. Because I kind of got the chance to make this season happen after leaving my job. So I was, I've been unemployed these last couple of months. Well, while job hunting, obviously, while searching for a job. And now that I have one lined up and accepted, it'll be tricky to balance it. So, somewhat, maybe. We'll see. I don't know yet. I haven't actually started working there yet. I signed, like, the job agreement and everything, and I'm just waiting on a lot of paperwork to clear. Because there's a lot of paperwork involved with working with government stuff. Ah, my gem is leaking. There we go. Work, work, jobs, money. Exactly, yes. I'm not complaining about having a job. And if need be, I'll give- I will give up making videos if it means I have to- if it means like- If it's between having a job and making videos, I'll have a job instead of making videos. Which would be sad, but that's life. It's looking solid already. Just need a bit more color. Like, th these are good, like, base colors. Now I'm just gonna do all the detail work. It's hard to dance while you paint. Now I let it dry while I dance in silence. <coughs> I'm sorry, I broke the silence with a cough. My deepest apologies. They're not very deep. Water. It's good for you. Drink water. Drink. Water. You must. Drink water. Eating pistachios since stream started? I want pistachios now, actually, now that you mentioned that. I should go get some pistachios. I shouldn't take this off before I go get pistachios. I should go buy six pounds of pistachios wearing this and see if people, like, call the police on me or something. That'd be a good way to start the weekend. And drink Sprite closest thing you have. You're gonna die. And it's gonna be funny. 
vicious cycle of drinking water and peeing a lot. It's tragic, but that really is the cycle of it. Drink a lot of water and I piss a lot of pee. <sighs> I wish paint dried faster. Is any of this, like, still wet on my head? Oh yeah, a lot of it still is. Wow. Ew. Ew. Paint? On my skin? How? I'm like a makeup YouTuber, except better. In every conceivable way. Ugh. Push my eyebrows backwards and see what happens. Oh, that's painful. Ow. Ow. There we go. Oh. Great results. It's like wiping. There's just always some left. I don't know why I said that, and that's not true. <laughs> oh. It's like I'm just pushing- I'm pushing the glob of paint around rather than actually wiping it off. And in doing so, spreading it all over my head even more. There we go. That was gross? Okay. painful. I have some dignity. Not much. But some. I'm Spongebob. Great. I will invert my eyebrows just for you. Better run to your hockey pool. Well, boomerang. Thank you. I will. I'll do well on boomerang. So well. So well. What needs painting still? This is still oozing some silver out there. Is this silver dry yet? Some of it is. Some of it's not. this still wet? How are you still wet? How? I let you sit there for like 20 minutes. Unbelievable. this red vibrant like blood like blood kisses ew like blood okay I think the silver is on there well enough I can actually start baking in some lighting that should be good. That should be real good. Real good. For instance, these things. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna use black, so it's gonna be a little, little dangerous, but we're gonna pull it off. I need a really small brush for this. Really tiny, that'll do. Right there, you'll do. I need to do a small black outline on all of the basically assuming it's lit this way, or it's sitting this way. This is how I gotta 
bake in a bit of the shading here. So that'll be basically like this, if I can remember this right. Yep, that's working. I'm doing my ugly focused face, where I basically just sit and chew on my tongue. Which is no good. That's not what I want to do. silver paint to deal with. That's kind of the trickier part of streaming these builds, is that I don't, like, if I wasn't streaming, I could, like, do a coat of paint and then leave it for an hour so it fully dries, but I can't do that here. So I'm kind of, like, not that I'm rushing it, but I have to, um, I have to keep going and cutting corners when I can in the waiting process, because I need to keep my viewers engaged. I need to keep my, my dwindling viewer base engaged real bad. That's because that's, that's what it's all about, right? That's It's all about viewership and engagement and content farming. It's all about getting clicks so I can get money, so I can work this as a job instead of my stupid military job. It's not even military, I work in an airbase, but not even like as a soldier or anything. I'm not employed by the military. Do one layer of paint, then one hour of gameplay, and repeat. No. I can't really do that. My This is not my, my gaming setup at all. This is not my main office. This is like a stream setup that I have. This is not my, my like, actual... This is not where I edit or anything, either. This is a separate room. I've, like, amplified my eyebrows by gluing them outwards. Which is great. I, this is gonna come off so much worse than the green stuff did. Cause I don't think I didn't get my my um I did not get my my eyebrows involved in the green stuff last year last year last stream. So that's gonna be tricky. It's subtle, but it's there. There's like a small black black outline on some of the things to actually have them like face outwards. And then I can take a lighter brush and also do this on some other details as well. Take the lighter gray and use it on like this outline here to like permanently bake in the bright reflection on it. That's working. In fact, it might actually even just be like straight white that I use this, that I use instead. How many paintbrushes I hit my mouth but I still work? I'm just, I'm running out of room to place brushes down and I want to use this one again quickly here. I'm just doing something else in this for a second. Yeah, that's working. That actually worked really well. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell here, so give me a split second to do it a little, a little more prominently in a couple more places. Done eating pistachios? Well, I'm not done eating paintbrushes. Hum nom 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 nom. No, that's great. Had all of them. This does not sound like a song in Paper Mario. 
This is like Red Dead Redemption. Which I played recently. I played- I started playing through Red Dead Redemption 2, and I stopped playing through Red Dead Redemption 2 because I don't like it. <laughs> Which is really sad. It's really sad that I don't like it, because it seems like a lot of fun, but also, there's a, so much traveling between place and place between missions. I feel bad that I, I can't enjoy it, but I just can't. So, I, I uninstalled it, I stopped playing it. Gonna keep being I'm like getting- oh. I'm like chewing paint into my mouth here from like the bottom of the brush. I gotta take this out of my mouth now. I thought I'd be faster with what I was doing, but I'm not. I'm just gonna swallow some of that. Yum. Delicious paint chips. Paint and wood chips. Suddenly I can't jump. What a shame. Delicious. Coming along, it's coming along. The lighting tricks are very subtle, but they're working. I'm baking and lighting along the edges of the. I'm I'm kind of doing it like heavy contrast because I'm using just like straight black and white and not like a mix of, of metallic of either of them. To get the blend I'm looking for on these. And under most lighting, I don't think you can actually really see it. So up here, it might appear a little better. You can see, there's actually like a white outline amongst like on top of the edge here that gives it that um gives it like some lighting uh where else does it apply oh there's also two black nubbins okay let's get those in there Why do I always have paint on my face every time you join? I don't know. <laughs> it's only happened two times. Maybe more. Because it's really fun. I was I was told to put the number 7 on my forehead with paint, and then also the numbers 420 because it's April 20th, and then also the number 1 because I'm number 1. I did all three, and I didn't do either of them very well. I also gave myself a little soul, silver soul patch. What's there to complain about? Sorry. Welcome, Toby. Welcome to stream. How's your day been? We're coming along with the boomerang here. I'm, I'm finishing up the, uh, some of the- I'm baking in, like, lighting details now that I've got the base coats on. Toby, did you play through Red Dead Redemption 2? I feel like you did. I started playing it recently and I gave up on it because I- I just wasn't enjoying it enough for how much traveling you had to do to get between missions. Even, like, at its most exciting, I wasn't having a great time, so I decided to- I decided to end it early and not finish it, which I feel bad about. She looking snasty. Yeah, she's a snasty looking feisty thing. No matter how far you throw away, she always keeps clawing her way back. Okay, it wasn't, it's not just me. Same reason you quit too. I wasn't I wasn't sure if you'd play through it all the way through or not. Mostly because Nicky Jake said it's bad. That's true. <laughs> no, that, I'm sure that influences a lot of things. Not just with you, but with lots of people. That's working. Uh, and I, I should probably get to the other side now while that dries. I'll do a little circle here. Ooh, circle. Ooh, circle. Ooh, circle. Ooh, circle. There we go. Wanted to play it for a while, though. Well, guess what? What? I want to know. I want to know. Let me know, please. Please. 
please! I don't even know, I don't know how I made that noise. I don't want to make that noise ever again. That hurt. That was physically painful on my throat. Getting a new tablet? Oh, nice! What brand? Huion? Is it gonna be like another, like, separate tablet, like its own computer, or is it gonna be one that you set up to your, your, um, your desktop? Uh... How did I do that? <laughs> I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I, like, tried to make myself gag, but it didn't work. Instead, I just, like, almost threw up in my throat. But it was- it didn't, like, reach the throat. It was all down here. It was weird. It's set up to the computer. Oh, nice! Okay, cool. So you'll, you'll kind of build up your desktop setup. That's sweet. I'm glad to hear that. That'll be exciting. Hey, Kai! You made it! Welcome! I'm covered in paint. I don't normally look like this, but it's also fun. How is Japan? How is, uh, Megumi? How is everything? Glad you could make it. Making the boomerang so far. It's coming along. I'm just working in some fine details now, and then I'm gonna do a bit of a lighting pass on the, um, some of the metal and on some of the wood. Why do I have paint on my forehead? I also have some on my soul patch. Don't forget about that. I shaved my soul patch last night just for this. That's not true. I don't have a soul patch anyways. Well, I have hair that grows there, but it's not like a soul patch. It's like, it's like arm hair. Japan is amazing. Megumi is also amazing. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear that indeed. Sweet. That's awesome. <clears throat> Favorite brand it is, but it's real nice. Sweet. When are you getting it, Toby? When, when's the tablet arriving? Is it like ordered online? Is it when you're gonna get on Staples or... What's the soul patch? It's like the little like triangle beard people have under the lips. I don't know if, if there's like rules to having one. I don't know if it means if like you have to have nothing but the, the soul patch. I'm not sure. This song is awesome. This song is so good. But it's also because it's so good in context to the battle. You're Because like you're fighting a... you're fighting a giant squid but the squid's also like clapping as it plays, it's great. And it like, it, it kicks up in beat and rhythm as it goes, which is awesome. This game has such a good soundtrack, even if the game, the game itself was divisive. And then this is like Mario's bit, where he is like doing real damage now. That might have been a little strong. This is Sticker Star. This is Paper Mario Sticker Star on the Nintendo 3DS. The game everyone hated, even though it's not actually that bad. I played it all the way through and it was not that bad. I get when you can when you compare any game to Thousand Year Door, it's hard to beat. But as its own thing, it's actually really cool. <clears throat> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like, it's not that bad. People are a little sad that it didn't have as many toads as, as Thousand Year or had more, more toads, rather than made up, rather than made up species that Paper Mario did a lot of before, which I kind of get, but who cares, the writing's still great. How do I do this again? This is... Did I play it on your DS? I think I, I think I had my own. Like, we, we kind of all had our own DSs at some point. I probably just stole the cartridge from you at some point. I hear a bunch of shy guys. They're like really faint in the background. Has dyslexia. That's not true. I can read really well. She thousand on my year till I door. She thousand on she thousand on my door till I year. She she left me. She left me for another man who was named Paper Mario. It's really sad. Do, 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 do. This is fun. This is a good stream. I'm covered in yellow paint and I'm having a blast. Do, do. Have dyslexia, it's so annoying. So does my girlfriend. So does Ryan. <laughs> I should clarify Ryan and my girlfriend are two, two different people. <laughs> they can pick who that's for. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but yeah, they both have it. 
Is this how I talk to Brooke? Yes. Yes, it is. I cover myself up in yellow paint and I, I, I stare at her occasionally while I paint stuff. She just sits over where the camera is and I just kind of... That's how, that's how Brooke and I communicate. I, for some reason, the, oh, that's still all wet. For some reason, the, um, the black paint on this end is way stronger than it was on the other end. I don't know what, maybe the paint was wetter there. Maybe I'll just have to do another coat of black on the other side. Homer Simpson core. Simpsons aesthetic. I'm so Simpson pilled. I'm so Matt Groening pilled. Futurama. Simpson. Disenchanted, if, did he do that? I don't actually know if he was behind that one. If Kif, ta Kif tattooed on your leg, that's great. Kif. Kif. Lower. Lower. <laughs> oh, is that Brannigan is my favorite. Is my favorite Futurama character. Especially in the newest season. He's so good. <laughs> I'm all out of laser. Oh. Have you seen the new season of Futurama, Kai? So good. Very fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh oh. Oh, I, got s I keep getting silver paint on it because my fingers are all wet. Stupid silver paint being wet. Why don't you dry up already? Christmas. <laughs> Didn't know that was it. On, what, what's it on? It's on Hulu, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I, I don't use Hulu. I use alternative means for watching TV. I might actually get in trouble for saying that. Uh oh. That was the wrong side. Ryan's streaming live on Twitch? How do you know that? Who told you? Yeah, I know, he, he, he decided to stream right as I was streaming. It was so rude of him. He's taking away all my viewers, like, king. Such good music. Okay, now I can do the lighter pass of the, of the white. I'm definitely like harshly shading this by doing just only blacks or only white. But I think it's actually working. It, it looks like almost self-shaded in a way. Cause like these shadows aren't actually that natural. They're, they're not, they're like, they're, they're permanently on there. Cause there's a, there's the black paint on it. It works. Now we do the white for the bright parts. This is just such good, good vibey music. I feel really happy listening to this. It's great. So close to being the Zelda theme. Do, 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 do. Hmm. 
No, it's going away. I'm not happy anymore. Ooh. Now it's chip doom. I keep getting silver paint in places I'm not trying to, like my mouth. That's not the right color. That would have been really bad, actually. Idiot. Focus on what you're doing, please. Or don't. It's funnier if you don't. But you get mad at yourself when you don't, and you don't want to get mad at yourself, because when you get mad at yourself, you hate yourself, and when you hate yourself, you get bleed. I'm lying. I'm lying for fun. That's gonna fall. Oh, well, it's not. It didn't fall. It came close, but it didn't fall. Dang it. Okay, I gotta like, I gotta wipe my hands, actually, because they're still covered in silver paint. Pikachu! Yeah, I'm yellow, and go Pikachu! And I shoot lightning at your parents, and they die. You can adopt me and take me on a journey to go kill everyone you know. I'm doing a thing with 3DS since you got one. Basically, I play one Pokemon, then a random game, then Pokemon, then a random game. You have any recommendations on my next game after I beat Pokemon X? Link Between Worlds? It's pretty good. I also hear that, uh, what's her name? What, what the hell's her name? The Fastest Fairy. Zara? <laughs> Zara the, f the Fastest Fairy 3DS. Is that her name? Is that Zara? Zara the Fastest Fairy. Don't, I'm, I'm also completely kidding. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't play Zara the Fastest Fairy. It was, it's like a dollar on the eShop, or at least it was. Rip eShop. And it, uh, it was so bad looking. Can also be DS games. Bowser's Inside Story. Which is also a 3DS game, but the DS one's just superior in every possible way. You know? They, they really did. I, I tried playing through, um, the remake on the 3DS. It's, it's baffling how bad it actually is. It's, I, it's, it's not even that bad, but when you, when you have the original to compare it to, it, they, they take so many steps backwards, like, the loading time between you walking into an enemy in the overworld, and then getting into the fight, like, fight mode, it's, it's like, five, six solid seconds compared to, like, the two seconds it takes in the base game. Like, if you can't match that, don't even bother making the game. <laughs> It's actually gross. Ooh! Dude, this version just looks so bad. It's, it, it's clearly done in like Alpha Dream's modern style before they shut down. Which I, I, I can get and I sort of understand, but like, it's not a very nice style compared to the DS style. It looks like... Neutered is the wrong word, but it just looks like... It, it's like the charm is just cut right out of it. It's clearly still its own distinct style, but that style is just not very appealing. You know? I don't know why I'm so passionate about this. I just like those... I like Bowser's Inside Story a lot. It's a really fun game. It's like one of the few RPGs I can actually enjoy because it's it's like not strictly numbers based. It's it's still generally skill based. Okay. Uh What am I doing again? I guess I should probably paint the nubbins, shouldn't I? These have little bolts on the end of them. Circle nubbin. Have to grab some groceries. Hope I'm still alive when I get back. Hopefully I will be. I don't know how long, how much longer I have to go here. I've been streaming for two hours here. I've got about 50 minutes of 50, 5 zero, 50 minutes of music left. I don't think this will take me 50 minutes to finish, but we'll see. If I'm not, thanks for dropping by. Glad you could make it. Hope you have fun getting groceries and have a, have a great day. There's hair on this thing. 
It's not working. It's almost like running the paintbrush along my eyebrows had some unintended side effects, like putting hair everywhere. My bushy, bushy eyebrows. Love catching the streams. Glad you could make it. Love to have you here. Circle. That is not enough paint on that. Circle. Some kind of connection between Link Between Worlds and Link to the Past? Sort of? It, it's not really. It, it all takes place on the same map with a lot of modern and like changes in modern improvements and all new characters and everything. It's not a remake. It's almost like a reimagining in a way. It's kind of hard to describe, but no, they're not the same game. And there's not—you don't have to have played Link to the Past to understand or appreciate Link Between Worlds. One of the biggest things about Link, Link Between Worlds, actually, you know what? If you haven't played it, I'm not going to spoil that for you. It's not a huge thing, but it is—it is a spoiler for the end of the game, so I won't bring it up. Let me know when you beat it, and I will—I'll uh, let you know. I'll let you know what the thing was. Since I know it'll be very eager, eager to, to know what I what I thought was cool. Circle. Is he gonna do the thing? Scary music mansion. Japanese title is literally a link to the past too. That's fantastic, but it's not a link to the past too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's a lot better than than reusing. Well, that's the thing, it's not even like the same map, it's the same layout, but it's not like you're going through the same physical space. It's not like a cut and paste. They built they built Link, to, Link Between Worlds map off of like the, the schematic of Link, Link to the Past, basically, and tweaked and improved a lot of things. Once you beat pocket monsters fighting each other for human happiness, that's the way to be. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, there is. There's a heavy outline on the back side of this. So let's do it. Baking in lighting and not really doing a good job showing what my what I'm doing. I don't know how to really set up the camera layout properly. Got a third boomerang to test it. It came back. I love that it uses this motif. This late motif. Almost there. Almost there. Where was the first time this motif appeared? Yes, it is. It's Mario Galaxy's uh, ghostly. Ghostly Galaxy? Something Ghostly Galaxy. And this is also the, um... This little, like, xylophone, or whatever it is, the glockenspiel in the back. This is, um, the, the ghost house theme for Super Mario World, like... Saxophone imitation was really good, thanks! I practice all the time. All I do is growl my throat and I don't sound like a saxophone. How fun, how scary, how spooky. How spooky indeed.
I think that's the hard lighting baked in. I suppose I could also do the bottoms of these if they're not still. Bit of a tone shift, but we take it. Okay, that's not an instrument. Is that a muted saxophone? It's a good sound. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're almost done here, I think. It's just gonna do another pass of um, some very light I might like water down a bunch of white and do like the that shading technique. I don't know if it's even it might I don't know. Yeah. I did as I did as yeah. I don't know if the the trick is actually even a trick or if it's more of like a a scam, but uh I might do that thing where you basically shade by slightly adding faint faint white layers on top of stuff or like faint colors. That's how I've done shading on a lot of digital things. Well, a lot of digital things, like two digital things, and it came out really well, so I'm going to try it again. That's coming along nicely. Let's do a little bit more on this red here, because I think it's supposed to be redder than it actually is here. I like the harpsichord as an instrument. If it's used properly. Like, here's a good place of it being used. There's like a certain balance of, of, um, of harpsichord to use in a song before it's, it becomes too much or it just isn't enough. Looks good. Thanks, Dejona. I'm liking how it's looking a lot. I think it's looking sick. The lighting, like it's kind of, it's really hard to tell on that camera. Up, up close you can kind of see a lot more of the um, like baked in detail, but it actually is coming along nicely. I'm st I keep forgetting that I'm covered in yellow paint. Uh, right, more red. That is so good. Thanks, Ryan. How was your stream? Was it longer than 30 minutes this time? Is it still going? Hi, stream. Boom, barang. Where am I going to put it once it's done? I'm probably going to set it behind Ben and Phi back there. Like, probably propped up, kind of like, kind of like this. It'll be smaller because it'll be closer up there. I'll have it leaning on the on the deco leaf a little bit. Yeah. One hour. Ended it to eat dinner. What'd you get for dinner? I have to know. What did everyone eat today specifically for lunch or breakfast if you wake up at noon like I do? I have to know. I have to know. Steak! Ooh, I want steak. I haven't had steak in a while. Dun, 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 dun. Boom, ding. Boom, ding. And one of the lyrics, here we go. Driving and I'm speeding and I'm vigorously nothing at all. Driving and I'm speeding and I'm da, 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 da. I'm not singing the lyrics to that song. <laughs> it's not the real lyrics, but it's funny. And Big Mac? Oh, I should get a Big Mac today. I might. I want to go to McDonald's, actually, now that you mention it. Twist my rubber arm, as my girlfriend says. That's a good phrase, by the way. Then I'm done. Mm 
Had bacon quarter pounder for lunch today. Everyone's getting McDonald's. I want McDonald's too. McDonald's sounds good. Dr. Pepper? Mid soda. I don't know if I said this on stream. I said it to Ryan, and Ryan knows. And this is gonna sound completely blasphemous, but <laughs> I don't I don't actually like Dr. Pepper all that much. I know it's funny because I have the shirt and everything. I just wore this once and it stuck around. I think I actually prefer Pepsi, which is blasphemy, I know. If you all want to unsubscribe and report the video now for child trafficking, you can. Um I'd ask that you don't, please. <laughs> but I know, I know I'm the worst. And I, I don't mind, I, that's not true. I don't, it's not that I don't, I don't, I don't dislike Dr. Pepper. It's just not my favorite soda, which is funny. Just randomly wear mid-soda shirts. Yeah, I got this, like, as a hand-me-down from my uncle. I wore it once on stream, and people liked it, and so I wore it again. Also, I do laundry, so it's not the only time I wear this shirt. But now I save it for stream because people like it. I don't know why it stuck around. I guess people just like the idea of a Dr. Pepper shirt being a thing. So now it is. I'm missing a spot here. I got a ways to go. Not not a ways. It's actually pretty close to being done. Oh, it's got a gaga yellow on the bottom of it now. Why? Where'd that even come from? Probably from the brush that I just leave sitting there. Like an idiot. Like an idiot. You're an idiot, Riley. Get your brushes and put them in the paint one. Evil. I think that's all for these brushes, so I'm gonna I'm gonna send them away now. Into the void. I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the trick I, I, I thought of. It's probably not gonna work, but it's worth a shot. I'm gonna put some water in I'm gonna mix I'm gonna water down a bunch of white paint and use it to brighten stuff, and I'm gonna water down some black paint and use it to try and darken stuff. We're gonna see if it goes anywhere. This is my drinking water. It's peeing. Ew. Get out of there. Do 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 Alchemy. This probably won't make a big splashy mess. Then drink it? Ha! Only if I want to die. Relatable, huh? Relatable, huh? Everyone wants to die and no one likes their lives. Except for me. I love what I do. I'm the only person. Is this brush gonna work? Nope. That's crusty. Uh, All these brushes are really stiff. I already used up most of my soft brushes for this. This one might do. Nope, no it won't. Uh, this one is pretty soft. It's got a couple bits that need to come off here real quick. Okay, let's see if this wants to work. Of 
grab, mix. Oh, I mixed into the yellow a little bit. Splashy mess. Splashy mess. I've made milk. Ew. We're in cowboy land. Okay, this might not work at all, but it's worth a shot. What am I doing? I'm brightening the bottom. Oh. That's not really working very well. Well, it was worth a shot. All it did was make it wet, and that's not what we want. What I will do instead is just mix. I will mix yellow and white to make just brighter yellow now. I think I'm done with this. I, I need to save some of the other never mind. I was gonna say I was just gonna pour the white into that yellow that I already have mixed, but I might need that in case I make a mistake or overdo something. I can take a good healthy gob of it though. Just mix it right in there. That's very, very bright. Let's add some yellow to it. This sounds like Little Big Planet. Get rid of this mixing brush because it's no longer good for painting because it's all chunky. I'll use this soft one. That is barely noticeable as a change. Oh well. Maybe it'll look better when it's dried. It looks wrinkly. Whatever brush this is, it sucks. It's like it's like shedding as I paint. Maybe it's supposed to be like for watercolors or something, but all I'm doing is getting a bunch of hair like caught into this boomerang. And that's no good. This absolutely looks like cheese whiz. Like the uh like the the the, the thing. That gross, like, liquid cheese you can put on stuff. Cheese boomerang. Let us also quickly... Is this dry? No, never mind. I was gonna say, let's put the white on the gem, but we're not gonna do that yet, because there's not enough... Not enough... White. <laughs> cheese meringue. Exactly. Yummy. Catch it midair. With your pizza? Ew. Official weapon of Wisconsin. They're known for their boomerangs and their cheese. Obviously.
There's really, you can't really see a difference. At least not in this lighting. And neither can I. Maybe if I make a darker color on the top, it'll actually be more apparent. I forget where half these songs are even used, but they're they're just so good regardless. Twilight Princess randomizer someday? I maybe? Maybe. I, I'm not gonna say no outright. I just I'm kind of less favorable towards those ones because um Unlike Wind Waker, which is like, the world is open, but the dungeons are kind of specific to items, and except for a couple, like, eight uh, places like uh, Diamond Step or such. Um, Twilight Princess's world is really heavily locked behind item usage. So, like, you need, you need Chain and Ball in places like Snowhead, but also around the world after Snowhead. You also need, like, the spinner in places that you... Otherwise, wouldn't need the spinner in in another Zelda game, right? If you, you kind of get what I'm saying. So there's kind of like less individual access given by items, and more like you kind of build up your arsenal again, and then you just beat the game normally. But maybe I'm maybe I'm completely out of it and completely wrong. That's my that was my previous experience playing the game. It may have the randomizer may have changed a lot because it's I, it's been years since I've played it last. So maybe I'll try it again at some point. Went to Wisconsin for the Jazz Festival you're talking today? There you go! Did you see any cheese rings when you were there? Because that is apparently their weapon of choice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This brush will do. Uh, what was it doing again? I'm making a darker color of yellow. I could probably just darken this, um, this lime color I have with some brown. Maybe. This might not work at all, but I'm willing to try it real quick. See if anything useful comes out of it. Uh, that's just like a, a greenish gold, and I don't need that. Maybe I can throw more yellow into it to see if it gives me anything. It's like, I'm like a- I'm brewing potions here, except I don't know what the ingredients are. I'm just like mixing ingredients together in, until something interesting comes out. Or I give up and throw it all out. Do -do -do. Hmm. EA Euclair one. Fun! I don't know what, what either of you guys are talking about, but that's sick. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, this is a ballsy thing to try. I, mm. If I dry brush it and not like gob it on, it might might work. Might work. Let's see. Let us see indeed. I'm not confident, but it's worth, I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh. Oh, that's working. That's not bad. Dry brushing it seems to work it for it. As long as I'm careful here. I said this on stream. One of my uh, my previous streams got not struck or anything, but it got copyright claimed. Like that someone said that there was their music being used in it. Uh, but the song in question was the the fishing hole theme from Twilight Princess. It was not Nintendo or any of like the the big companies that would take down stuff for that. It was a small mumble rapper who uh, 
his 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 song that he's claiming was literally just he took the fishing hole theme from Twilight Princess and then mumble wrapped with a sh ton of reverb on it. I have to censor myself there. <laughs> um, just put a ton of reverb on his voice and thanked a bunch of people over top of the um, the fishing hole theme from Twilight Princess, and he claimed that that song was his. And he struck my video for it. I appealed it, and I don't know if the guy saw it directly, but uh, YouTube rejected my appeal, saying that it was in fact his song. So that's cool. That's really cool. I love that YouTube is so confident in its broken algorithms that it thinks it can successfully detect a song that isn't there. Now to be fair, it was the song in question, it's just that that song doesn't belong to him under any circumstances, and so he shouldn't be able to copyright claim stuff because of that. My voice is fading, isn't that cool? I love YouTube. Baffling. Exact thing happening to others too. It's it's insane. And of course you can't like you can't do anything about that because you're not Nintendo, so you can't say like, hey, this is their song. And not that you want to be like the the policeman for Nintendo or anything, but like if it's if it means that the person having that free reign to steal one of Nintendo's songs means that I can't use those soundtracks because they'll claim it because they think it belongs to them. Kind of garbage, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little garbage, a little bit of stupid, a little bit of stupid dumb, a little bit of big stupid yucky. Also, this color is, is working. This, like, honey mustard color actually ended up working right for what I needed. Now what's worse too is that if 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 it was a bigger spat, that guy could have gotten my video taken down if he wanted. Like I don't think he would, thankfully. But if, if he wanted to, he has full creative freedom to like strike me on that on a song that doesn't belong to him. <laughs> like that's that's infuri that's the part that bugs me more is is the is that part. That like he has now the ability, should he want to, to try and take down my video. Because I used a song in it from a Nintendo game that he also stole. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying I own the music any more than he does, but, like, if it was Nintendo claiming me, then sure, whatever, that's them. That's- it's their song, they can- they can claim me if they want to, but there's some random mumble rapper... Like, I just don't like that they have that freedom. <clears throat> that's what I'm saying, I mean, thankfully- and obviously he didn't take it down, he didn't even strike it, like, I don't think he made any- I don't think that he was he was the one who made the claim. I'm pretty sure it was YouTube's like auto claim process or like auto auto um, auto detect. Where it's like, hey, you're using this guy's music specifically when no, it's not his. Rage inducing. <laughs> It's so cool. The, the overworld of this game is really cool. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. What's, what's annoying though, as well, is that I submitted a claim like saying, Hey, can a human look at this? And like they say, they say a human's gonna look at it, and they say, and they say, no. And then they get back to me later, they're like, nope, no, it's a genuine claim. And like, if a human looked at that, no question would they say that's not his song. So they're just lying about it, which is great. I wouldn't be even so mad about this if they didn't say on their site that they're going to make a human look at it, but they don't. <laughs> they're just, they're outright lying. They're only saying that to like not get people as pissed off. Even though once people find out that a, a robot or like a human did not look at it, they're going to be just as pissed off. It's garbage, it's mean, it's pooky stooky. Stinky. 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 Ew. Mm. 
Bowser. Hey, Stinky. There, I think that's that's all the lighting baked in now that I wanted to bake in. Oh, at an odd angle, that looks weird. But from head, from head on, that actually looks pretty cool. So evil. Whoa, Bowser. Yeah, he sure is an evil guy. I need a small brush. When did this motif come in? Because I don't think this was part of Mario Bros. 3. Um, do, 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 do. Is that Mario Galaxy as well? This game took a lot of motifs from Mario Galaxy. Which is fine, because Mario, Mario Galaxy's music is awesome. I just wonder if that's, that's where that came from. I'm going to fall out of my chair here in a second. But it'll be funny. Put a pet in my mouth. But it works. Okay, parts of it are still wet, so I gotta be careful, but I think that's, like, I'm content to call that a finished thing. I think. I might do a bit of varnish on the, uh, the gem there in the middle. How much music, how much time do I have left for music? Oh, I've got, like, 20 minutes. I should be fine. Sweet. That is one good-looking boomerang. Sick. I will let that dry for a split second, then I'm gonna do some varnish on the thing. Should I do varnish on the metal parts or just the gem? I don't think I need to do the, uh... I don't think I need to do the metal, but it might be worth it. Looks good, the lighting you painted brought, gave it a lot of life. Thank you! Yeah, baking and lighting always tends to give things like a lot more life than they normally have with just base. Now, in not the right lighting, it can look kind of kind of iffy, but I think it looks. I think it just has that that nice little oomph of oomph of life to it.
How long does this take to dry? That's already dry. Nice. The white paint dries really quickly, so I can quickly get to doing stuff like this. Already, the, the red paint shined really nicely there. Ooh, there's a bit of silver I can paint on there, because it's... I think I might have messed up something. That was the... Oh, that was the wrong thing! I grabbed red paint and not varnish. Stupid, idiot, dummy. Kill your boomerang. I'm randomly thinking like, oh, red paint, obviously, because I'm working on red. Stupid. We want shine. We want shine, not red paint. Goof. Tiny little bit of more red paint, or not red paint, a uh, little bit of silver in a spot that I missed here. Yeah, there we go. Boomerang. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna varnish the metal. It looks fine as is. Okay, I am just about ready to call that a shape. If I didn't keep noticing a bunch of things that I made mistakes on, just missed a spot here that I need to patch over. It's flawless. Now ah, there's there's the odd the odd thing or two, but I'm okay with it. I like how this looks a whole lot. That is our boomerang looking just about finished. Sweet. This thing looks great. Oh yeah. I'm trying to think of like things to say for an ending spiel because I feel like often I just say the colors turned out great. The shape turned out great. The end. Um, what are things specific to this that I like? I think baking in a lot of the lighting really... Let me, I guess, let me slow it down. I think baking in a lot of the lighting really did give it a lot of life. I love how the, the, the shading looks on this thing. Fantastic. That's the boomerang taken care... Uh, ah, boomerang painted in just about... Pfft. That is the boomerang painted in about two and a half hours. I'll be skipping making uh, making bombs. I'll be skipping bombs, so next we'll be going on to making the bow. I'll be skipping bombs since they're just like an oval, or since a, uh, just a sphere. I'll be skipping bombs since they're just a sphere, so next we're going to be working on the hero's bow. Kirsty's dying! Kirsty! The double layer of shadow just, yeah, makes it look more cartoonish. Exactly! A lot of these kind of have the, the, the cartoonish look to it with like double shadows, like fake shadow and then real shadow with the intense lighting from above. I am happy to call it there. Sweet. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. Hey Mario, I want you to know that I had lots of fun in our little adventure together. I'm gonna go die, except I won't. Spoiler alert, she's fine. She's fine. I wonder what happens if you like hack hack Kirsty's sticker as an item into something earlier in the game. You're invincible. Well, I think I'm out of things to say. So, that's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna end stream now with this song, I guess, if I can. Sweet. Okay, thank you guys all for being here. This was a great time. This was a good a good stream and a good good overall result. This will go up on the shelf uh, by next stream, hopefully. I'm gonna go clean up all this paint off me and we'll get some McDonald's. I know, I know it'd be great to walk into McDonald's looking like this. Represent McDonald's. Yellow paint, silver paint, silver soul patch. That's what Ronnie's all about. 
He loves it. Okay, I'm out of here. Thank you guys all for dropping by. You guys all have a fantastic night. So you guys, uh, you guys uh, have have fun. Get a McFlurry too? I might, actually, now that you said that. I might. I might. <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, I'm out of here. Thank you guys all for dropping by. You guys have a fantastic night. See ya!